Close your eyes and watch your breath. Keep all your thoughts centered on the breath. Watch it as it comes in, as it goes out. And try to make the breath comfortable. Think about that too. As for other thoughts, just let them go. You're making a trade here. There are lots of things you could be thinking about right now, but you say, no, I want to develop concentration, I don't want to develop mindfulness. So you're trading up. This is what life is. There are a lot of trades that we have to make. There's, there are trades in terms of worldly wealth, and there's also trades in terms of Dharma wealth or noble wealth. With worldly wealth, you trade a material thing and you get something material back. With Dharma wealth, sometimes you trade in a material thing, but you get qualities of mind back. For example, when you give something, okay, you, the item is no longer yours, but you've now got the quality of generosity in your heart. When there's something you know that would cause harm, cause suffering, and you'd be ashamed to do that, then you, re you don't do it. Okay, you've given up what you may have gained from it, but you've gained the quality of a healthy sense of shame inside. That's the shame that goes with high self-esteem. So you're gaining in terms of the mind, and that's where it really makes a difference. Because the material things of the world, they're not really ours. They come our way and then they go. And when we go, we can't take them with us, but we can take the qualities of the mind and the things that can't be stolen, unlike the material gains you gain from making material trades. You trade up, trade up, trade up in terms of the world, but then you get more and more afraid of what people might want to take away from you. But the qualities that you develop in the mind, nobody can take them away. In fact, you're the only one who can destroy them, which is why the most important of the noble types of noble wealth is your discernment, when you realize that the qualities of the mind really are your most valuable possessions, and you really want to maintain them. You appreciate them when they come, you maintain them, and you try to build them up as much as you can. In terms of worldly wealth, you keep on building things up, building things up, after a while it turns into greed. But in terms of the qualities of the mind, as you build them up, it's not greed. It's initiative. It's wise. You're creating good circumstances for yourself, and then you can use those good circumstances to help other people. Everybody benefits. It's not like worldly wealth, where you amass things somebody else has to lose. That kind of wealth creates divisions. Noble wealth creates no divisions at all. So it's safe. It's good for everybody. The, impo the most important thing, though, is that you realize how valuable it is. Because if you don't discern its value, then you just throw it away. So make sure your discernment is sharp. And you see the value of training the mind, developing the qualities of the mind. Because of the, those are the things that will stick you th with you throughout time. 